Global is important for Black Clover Mobile and it could determine the amazing success of Black Clover Mobile or just pretty good, right? I think that Global needs to be amazing and what Black Clover Mobile Explained has posted does give me a lot of hope and I'll explain to you why exactly I've got hope in everything. So let's just talk about it. Um, first off, I do want to say that like um, Global does have the biggest chance for like big money, right? Global already has 2.5 million pre-registrations. It's on the way to 5 million and people love Black Clover, especially overseas. And I think that it needs to be a hit, right? And that's what they are going for, it seems. So Black Clover Explained did go to the AX panel, which pretty much like we we kind of knew that nothing was going to happen. But then there was that little uh, meme of someone doing the inspect element change text, right? But um, anyway, so basically at AX, they didn't really reveal too much, but I think they revealed enough for me to make this video. Now, first off, a Garena rep, wonder if it was a Fosse, basically said that the players will be satisfied when it comes to the mismatch between JP slash KR and Global. So that is a statement that should not be taken lightly because obviously um, the mismatch does not leave people very happy. So I think that uh, alongside this, it makes sense for Global to actually release with more chapters than JP and KR did, which I could say does make sense um, from what I've seen from the actual, not devs, but the people we're in contact with. It does seem that they're not going to be like three months behind. They may be a month behind or even less. We'll have to see how it launches with, but it seems like uh, what he's saying is 100% right. And I could kind of like soft confirm it too, um, which is huge. Like I think that um, us being satisfied is what we need. And one of those ways is by definitely releasing one more chapters, right? So there's a couple more th reasons why we could also talk about that. But let's just say, uh, talk about some other things. Just like a little tidbit is that a lot of content, ideas, animations, etc., got scrapped to the IP limitations. So basically I think the one he uh, talked about was the uh, watermelon one, the watermelon slice. Basically it's just like, you can't really copy something that's too close to other animations in other games. So things are changed. So it was like, now it's a shark animation and stuff like that right now um another thing that honestly is leaving us very hopeful leaving me very hopeful is that uh no real reason or even confirmation was given as for the delay but the greener rep did say that there's a lot of optimization happening behind the scenes so that the negative feedback that was collected in jpkr can be worked on to ensure a better game when it comes out on global um i think that also they did mention in the forums about like trying to break the infinite like content loop or just trying to find different ways for limited time challenges so i think that um assuming that they're trying to build a better or an actual end game content would be uh sufficeable to say i think that from what i saw i read it in the um i swear i read it in the forum about season two so you might be able to see it there um, I think that would be great and the optimization is very good. I think that they're probably trying to find a way to change gear a bit at least because there are new gear sets. So we'll have to see what they do with gear. And I think that the main reason why they're stalling for gear is because there's nothing else to farm right now. So I think that when gear does get changed, it's going to be when we have more content in my opinion. Now, as for this part, what my reason is for actually believing it, let's go in here. So these are the units that we have right now, right? This is the units we had before. So that's like three, that's seven more units, right? You can see that's a lot. Like we got four Midnight Sun and then we've got um, the three seasonals. So the big thing is that like, you don't want there to be an even bigger gap, right? That's not what we want, but what they can do, honestly, um, if we go here, I, I mean, it actually doesn't really matter where we go, but there's no really SSR Red Defender except Veto, right? And I feel like they do care about colors because it's the only reason they changed Veto to red so that there would be a Red Defender. So a little part of me actually believing that um, the Midnight Sun will release on launch is that Veto's red. And if he's not there on launch, there's no Red Defender. And that's going to probably... Um, a red SSR defender, right? So that's going to probably influence a couple people's gameplay or just like um, satisfaction, I guess I could say, because like usually um, typings are very big in games. And considering there's three, you kind of want there to be like one of everything for the, for the most part, right? And defenders are very huge parts of this game. So I think that this is one of the reasons. And other reasons is that by the time Global comes out, it's not coming out in July. Like I, sol I solidly believe it's coming out in August right now. Like it, it can't come out in July. I, I just, I don't see it, um, which is good for me. I'm on vacation in like a week. So perfect. Um, the thing is, uh, by that point, by the time the game comes out, we're about to get chapter five in a week on like next Wednesday. Where is it? Next Wednesday, we're getting chapter five. 
I'm pretty sure unless they change something up in the schedule of the season, we are getting chapter five. By the time Global comes out, we'll probably have chapter six. If not, we're gonna be even further into a different type of content slash story. So they're gonna have to catch us up in one way, one or two ways. They're gonna launch with the Midnight Sun, all four of them, all four of them, right? We're gonna get all, wait, how do I, how would I check it? I think, oh yeah, okay. They're gonna launch with all four of the Midnight Suns, Fauna, Lich, Raya, and Vettel, which were not there on launch. It would make sense. This is a very natural way to kind of um, balance the game. Even at launch, these four characters could release you could use every single DPS still in the game until Red Noel comes out, right? So all of these DPSs aren't exactly stronger, so it's not going to really um, make things unnatural in terms of gameplay. Every DPS is still good to use. I think I could... Could I sort it to all DPSs? I'm really bad with this. But yeah, so basically, all the DPSs here, right? Like, if we don't count Noel before, you would be able to use every single one of these, except for maybe Jack. I think Leo would still be good, especially with Fauna. And I think that it's going to make for a very fun time. That first month is going to be very fun if there's no Noel. There's going to be a lot of different teams, and that's going to be because Fauna, Lich, and Raya are in the base game too. So I think that there's all those things to consider, but it also makes sense for Chapter 4 to release on launch, um, just because, like, three chapters was not a lot and bro them I, I, like i complained yes i did complain people were mad at me i complained but other people did too we got the same amount of content as we did in beta so i think that by that point they should be safe to launch with chapter four hopefully give us more crystals too right so that is another thing um but like definitely the optimization part is really huge for me i feel like uh like especially gear gear is the main thing i think that needs to be optimized and i think that's what they're focusing on right now but it's also like limited time challenges because what do you do right now? Raid three times a day. And then you do this. You do your stamina and you're done. So I think that finding something fun will be great. But you guys can expect, I believe, this is not 100%, but I believe we could expect Lich, Fauna, Raya, and Vettel on launch. Let me know what you guys think and if you guys agree with me or disagree. But it would honestly make sense in terms of, let me try to pull up the wording. Um, in terms of us being satisfied, quote unquote, I think that us being satisfied would be not being too far behind and to solve this, catch us up by one month, right? One month and hell, even more if they want to, but I think one month is more than enough. And even if we're a bit behind, it should be fine. But if not, they might catch us up more. We might get Kyoto and Kohono and then the seasonals are the only thing that's mismatched, which is another thing I do want to talk about very quickly. Um, let me so I actually think this is kind of irrelevant, but it's just to make my point at the same time. So what this is, is the seasonal you know we had from the beta, but he's probably um, taken out of the game completely due to IP, or he might come at a later, later point from what I've seen. He's not coming out anytime soon. Do not expect him to. But this is just kind of giving me an idea of like, maybe they're going to do characters that like, or maybe some seasonals won't be able to release at certain times because in this image, right? If we check the full roster, this was the roster. This was like around the time season two came out. And yes, the three seasonals for season one were there. The season two characters were not there. Now this would kind of make sense considering season one would go, if the game does release in August, season one would go up to September. At that point, season two could not be summer. So I think we could also expect, don't be surprised if the seasonal characters are not the same season per season. And that's a bit scary, uh, but I hope they should stay the same, honestly. I just, I could see it go 50-50, right? I could see them change the seasonal characters we get because season two, by the time season two comes out, it's not summer, right? So that's going to suck. But um, it's going to also make some problems, I think, overall, just for enjoyment of the characters. Because right now, you know, like you want to get summer characters when it's summer. You don't want to get summer characters when it's September or October, right? So that's one thing. But I also think that they can't really push them back because then the kits are mismatched and then it's kind of hard to kind of relay information to global when jp is so much different right so i think that they got to keep it the same which means that the earliest they release it the better but i also like i could see it go both ways just let me know what you guys think about that specifically like do you think they'll do like um or the, not like global exclusives but do you think they're going to do characters that will come out at different times like in the schedule so like season one it could be the school characters because, you know, they're not any particular season. Season 2 might not be summer, though. We'll have to see how that works out. But overall, Global is looking very interesting. I think that the reps saying that people will be satisfied is very good, first of all. And second of all, um, it's very good that they're collecting negative feedback, which honestly, the reps have been doing. 
uh, we are in contact with some people and I could say that they, they do want us to speak our mind, which is huge, amazing for the game. And I don't think Garena is going to be dead. Like, it's not going to be like a bad version. I think that they're really trying for Black Clover because Black Clover has so much potential. And the thing is with Garena is that, um, how do I explain this? So basically, this Garena is another like branch. So I think that it's definitely the people who work on every single game, how they want to handle it. And this seems to be another branch of Garena, a new branch, because when you go into the app store, it's the only um, game, Black Clover Global is the only game so far from this part of Garena. So I think that's another point for it to be positive or for you to think positively about Garena in a little bit of ways, right? You shouldn't have to 100% be... Uh, um, positive, I guess, because like obviously no publisher is perfect. No one's perfect, right? I think that they want to make money. So we'll have to see how they handle stuff. But overall, Midnight Sun, very cool. And uh, hopefully seasonal characters stay the same, but they might not. We'll have to see. But that ends the video. I'll see you in the next one.